Hello, good morning, my self fam. BS for Botany Lecturer. Today, our topic Anatomy of Flowering Plants. Already, Anatomy of Flowering Plants theory already uh, we discussed. Now, objective oriented uh, topic we are discussing Anatomy of Flowering Plants. So, one by one, look at the apical, intercalary, and lateral meristems are differentiated into, into differentiated on the basis of on the basis of origin function position development yes the answer is development why why the first option is not correct based on their origin this meristems are two types primary meristem and secondary meristem if there is origin that is a primary meristem and secondary meristem based on their development that is apicalary intercalary and lateral meristems that which meristem helps in increasing girth means radial growth radial growth directly lateral meristem Lateral meristem, radial growth. Yes, next to the question. The cells of permanent tissues are specialized by permanent tissues. They are functionally, structurally, structurally and functionally for mitosis, but originally they are structurally and functionally they are specialized, permanent tissues. Then castherin strips are present on the plant cells of roots, which are bean shaped dumbbell shaped barrel shaped yes here endodermal cells are barrel shaped cells which containing casparian thickenings casparian thickenings so that is the answer third option then you go for fifth question hypodermis of dicostum pericycle in dicostum ground tissue in monocostum phloem parenchyma in mono mono monocot stem hypodermis in dicostum made up of chlorenchyma cholenchyma in monocostum, hypoderm is made up of clear and chyma. So, A directly, A3, A3. So, third, third option, look at that. B4, why pericycle in dicot stem, pericycle is a clear and chyma. But whereas in monocostum, hypoderm is made up of clear and chyma. Remember that one. So, generally in ground tissue, in monocostum, parent chyma test. Phloem parenchyma in monocot stem absent. You know, in monocot stem endodermis, pericycle absent, chemium is absent, mainly phloem parenchyma also absent, medulla, medullary rays are also absent. Clearly remember that one. Then, sixth question. The occur in layers below the epidermis in dicotyledon plants. The occur in layers below the epidermis dicotyledon plants. Yes, in dicotyledon plants below the epidermis, hypodermis is present, that is the cholenchyma, direct. Vast fibers are made up of directly sclerenchyma, direct first option. Monocot leaves possess your intercalary meristem, lateral meristems, apical meristems, mass meristem. Yes, sheathing leaf bases containing the clearly intercalary meristems. Then ninth question, vascular bundles are conjoint collateral and and lack cambium between xylem and phloem in all but not in. In all, maize monocot, barley monocot, wheat monocot, sunflower is dicot, so the answer is fourth option. Then tenth question, which one of the following option is correctly about bully form or motor cells? Yes, bully form or motor cells, uh, it is seen in grasses, it is a monocot, it is a large sized Thin walled, colorless, vacuolated cells on the adaxial surface. Clearly, that is a bully, bully form cell. It is helpful rolling of the leaves to minimize the water loss when is flaccid. Wow, what the answer? What a beautiful option. So that is why the fourth option is correct. All are correct. Then cork cambium. Cork cambium is formed from phellogen. Yes. Here cork cambium. Cork is formed from cork cambium, cork, cork cambium. You remember that one, phellum, phellogen, phelloderm. Phellum, phellogen, phelloderm, like cork, cork cambium, secondary cortex. So, you know, cork, cork cambium, secondary cortex. Clearly, cork cambium forms cork and secondary cortex. So, cork cambium is nothing but a fellow gen. Remember that one. Next, pericycle of roots produce definitely lateral roots. Answer second option. 
Cork cambium and vascular cambium are Cork cambium and vascular cambiums are definitely lateral meristems. But here important the all lateral meristems are secondary meristems? No. Uh, mainly vascular cambium is the primary meristem. Select a set having correct match dicostium and monocostium. Yes, look at there is clear and chymatous hypodermis is uh, not present in dicostium. So the first option is not correct. Parent chymatous pericycle. No, no, no. Epidermis with trichomes. Yes, in dicostium, trichome is present. In monocostium, water containing cavity in vascular bundles. Yes, so answer is third option. Next, spring wood and autumn wood are found in. Always spring wood and autumn wood in present in secondary xylem. Secondary xylem. Next, read the following statement to answer the question. Here, the cambium is very active and produces a large number of uh, xylary elements having vessels with uh, wider cavity. Okay. Uh, it is also called early wood. Okay. It is uh, lighter in color and has lower density. Which type of wood is described by the above statement? Yes, definitely spring wood. Answer is spring wood, clearly. Next, the only cells in the epidermis with chloroplast. Only cells in the epidermis. All, the, all cells doesn't contain chloroplast. Only GERD cells contain chloroplast. Colon chyma differ from scleren chyma in presence of in presence of colon chyma. Colon chyma is a living tissue. You know, living mechanical tissue is the colon chyma. Living dead mechanical tissue is the scleren chyma. So the answer is uh, clearly protoplasm is present. Second option. As secondary growth proceeds in dicostem, thickness of, yes, secondary growth is there. So when the secondary growth is there, definitely both sapwood and heartwood is increases. Early formed wood. Here sapwood increases, heartwood increases, sapwood and heartwood increases. Definitely third, third option, sapwood and heartwood increases. The trees growing in desert, desert will. The trees growing in desert will, okay, so alternate rings of xylem and sclerenchyma have only conjunctive tissue and phloem is formed by the activity of cambium. So distinct annual rings, not so distinct annual rings. Yes, it is very, very important because there is no temperature variations, only desert always, uh, uh, only drought conditions. So that is why there is no annual ring formation. Even sometimes uh, if the plant affected by any diseases also no um, annual rings. There is only marks or forms. Next, when we peel the skin of potato tuber, we remove periderm. We remove the periderm. When we peel the skin of a potato tuber, we remove periderm. The outer layer is called periderm. Colon chyma is thick-walled dead tissue. No, 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 no. Colon chyma is a living mechanical tissue. Scleren chyma is a dead mechanical tissue. Colon chyma cell shows uniform thickening of the pectin. Pe no. No, no, no. Here in the cells of the corners, colon chyma, here mainly uh, the cell wall materials are depositing in the cell corners. So answer, colon chyma is a living mechanical tissue. Next, all of the following statements are correct. For the cells of parenchyma, all of the following statements are correct for the cells of parenchyma. Yes, they are they are generally isodiametric. Correct. They have lignin. No, 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 no lignin. No lignin. They may be spherical over or polygonal shape. Correct only. They are the mature cells. Okay. Second option is incorrect. Parenchyma made up of cellulose, hemicellulose, pectin materials. Yes. A question lateral meristem is lateral meristem is lateral meristem is procambium and phalloderm, intervascular cambium and phalloderm, phallogen and phalloderm, phallogen and vascular cambium. Correct, correct, correct. Lateral meristems. These are the lateral meristems. And common fourth option is the correct. Next now, 25th question. A common structural feature of vessel elements and sieve tube elements are. Uh, pores on lateral walls, 
a common structural feature of vessel elements and the sieve tubes elements are as pores on lateral walls oh no uh, in sieve tubes end walls are present presence of p protein that is seen in sieve tubes e nucleate condition yes no nuclei new no nuclei that is the common thing that is the common thing next 26th question gymnosperms are called soft wood spermatophytes because they lack because they lack xylem fibers remember no xylem fibers in in gymnosperms they containing the tracheids and xylem uh, they containing uh, tracheids so important thing remember that one next you go for tissue tissue present in annual rings in annual rings what is the tissue second big xylem and phloem in annual rings annual only by the xylem rays yes so answer is second big xylem only so the age of the plant can be estimated by the only annual rings that's a xylem rays only next 28 gymnosperms lacks tracheids in the xylem no 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 wrong tracheids are present companion cells are connected by border pits to the sieve cells companion cells are always associated with uh, sieve tubes sieve tubes remember that one why grafting is successful in dicots yes uh, you know grafting because their secondary growth that is why grafting is possible in dicots next one which one of the following show correct labeling of the parts marked a b c and d given figure of lenticels as yes, look at that uh, a is the epidermis b is the complementary cells and c is the cork cambium and d is the secondary cortex as yes, the fourth option is correct next identify the types of vascular bundles in given figure a b c uh, okay 31 question look at there radial conjoint closed conjoint open so what i am asking there uh, what in roots xylem and phloem present on different radius called radial vascular bundles whereas question b look at means up, uh, b that is the conjoint uh, closed because no cambium when you go for c uh, conjoint uh, uh, open because cambium is present yes then 32 yes look at that question number 32 it is the match following match the following uh, next cuticle bully form cells but cuticle is the vaccine layer um, bully form cells are present bully form cells uh, they are colorless stomata present in guard cells um, okay here cuticle bully form cells stomata uh, and uh, epidermis okay so what i am saying is the cuticle is the vaccine layer so a3 cuticle is the vaccine layer a3 so you can take this one cuticle is vaccine layer a3 definitely a3 next you go for the bully form cells Bull, bully form cells are present in outer layer means outer layer yes only stomata stomata guard cells c1 c1 a3 b2 c1 d4 answer is fourth option yes next 32 which of the following statement is not correctly about xylem xylem it is conducting tissue for water and minerals from root to the stem and leaves as xylem conducts water and minerals root to stem and leaves correct only so you have not correct statement it provides mechanical strength to the plant pods okay yes it composed of four different kinds of elements namely tracheids companion cells xylem fibers and xylem parent chyma four different kinds of elements namely tracheids companion cells xylem fibers and xylem parent chyma okay gymnosperms lack vessels in their xylem gymnosperms lacks lack vessels not correct means they are asking incorrect 
okay incorrect lack reserves in the the fourth option is okay and what i am discussing third option it is composed of four different kinds of element mm. okay okay so the companion cells are present in sieve tube remember that one the companion cells are present in sieve tube then 34th best method to determine the age of tree is so clearly count number annual rings directly and 35 main function of lenticel as transpiration guttation gases exchange both 1 and 3 1 and 3 is the answer 1 and 3 is the answer 35 next 36 Fellogen and phellum, respectively, denotes phellum, fellogen, phellum. So phellum, upper one next fellogen, phelloderm. Phellum means cork, fellogen means cork cambium. So the uh, fellogen is the cork cambium, phellum is the cork. So second option is correct. Next the thirty-seven vascular bundle in which the protoxylum is pointing to the periphery is called. so vascular bundle vascular bundle in which protoxylum is pointing periphery periphery means exosome which one of the following have vessels in their characteristic feature vessels actually vessels are present in angiosperms only yes in dicot root in dicot root uh, vascular bundles are scattered no vascular bundles are arranged in ring no xylem and phloem radial arranged correct only third option A narrow layer, thin wall, cells found between phloem bark and wood of a dicot is cork cambium, vascular cambium, endoderm is both one and three. Clearly, the tissue present outside the vascular cambium constitute called bark. So the answer is second one. So this is the clear discussion about the um, about the totally anatomy of flowering plants. It is the object orientation. Thank you. Thank you to all.